Simon and I'm a misfit. And I'm Adam and I'm a misfit too. So welcome back to the instructional video series on how to make a cement sculpture of an old man sitting down feeding birds from his hand. Now in this class we're going to show you how to apply the small mesh to the head and this is what we're going to aim to finish off with in this class. So to get started let's rewind back to one of the earlier classes where we made the head out of big mesh. We're going to pick this piece up and we're going to start applying small mesh to it now. So we've taken a piece of the quarter inch metal mesh, the fine mesh, which is long enough to go from the temple, the side of the head, almost to the top. We want to leave a small gap at the top and we'll explain why. And is long enough to wrap all the way around the head, leaving maybe four or five squares overlap. As we fasten the small mesh to the head, you'll see that there are loose prongs from the big mesh that you can just pull up and secure the small mesh. In addition, you can also use the prongs from the small mesh. Something I really want to draw attention on is when you are applying small mesh to the head, you can make two mistakes very easily. One is that you attach the mesh too loosely and you lose the shape of your head. The other is while you're so preoccupied tying, you can inadvertently squish the head out of shape. In the next step, we're going to cut two thirds down our wire piece that we just put on and cut strips about every five squares along the edge. So now fold down each of the flaps and secure them tightly one by one. So now that we have this strip attached and secured, there's two things you need to check. First of all, that you haven't distorted the shape. So just take a good look all around and make sure it's still symmetrical in the shape of a head. The other thing you need to check is that the flaps are tied in nice and securely. They're fastened close to the head and they're not protruding out. I explained earlier that we were leaving a hole here for a reason. The reason is so that we don't have lots of flaps overlapping, making the head bigger than it needs to be. So we just take a square piece and patch it. Okay. So for the next step, we take a piece of mesh which is long enough to reach from one cheek all the way from the side across the nose to the other and wide enough to go from the top of the nose to the bottom of the nose. Once you've got your strip, the best thing to do is fold it in half so you have a nice line here which goes across the top of the nose. As you apply this strip, you want to make sure that the small mesh is flush up against the, the structure of the big mesh and you're not having bulges at any point along the way. So you can tie that in across the eye line. So now we cut another strip, which is long enough to reach from one side of the cheek across the upper lip to the other side of the cheek and is wide enough to reach from the bottom of the nose one square past the lip. with the one square overlap over the lip, you make a cut every about two squares, which allows you to fold it in to make the shape of the lip. So now we're gonna add the chin. As you can see on our finished one, you can see it has the bump right here. And we're gonna do the same for this one here. I'm gonna take an 11 by 11 square piece of small mesh to do the chin. You center your piece of small mesh underneath the first wire of the big mesh underneath the lip and connect it. Then you make a bend in the piece and tuck it underneath the big mesh where it ends underneath the chin and attach it. Take your snips Find the center of your piece and cut four squares in on both sides. Take each 
flap and pull them directly down. Now the chin is done, we want to add a little piece of mesh to create the shape of the bottom lip. So you take a square piece, this is 11 squares by 11 squares, which is the length of the lip. Fold it in half and cut one corner off, just below the fold. Bend it into shape, and when you attach it, the fold becomes the shape of the lip. And once the lip's attached, you can simply shape it by pushing in. So now, I'm going to add a small piece. This piece is 8 squares wide by 13 long. And I attach for the eye a corner alongside the nose, with the other corner on the other side of the eye. So it's nice to give it a bit of a pre-bend first, before I attach it. So now both eyes are done. Uh, you'll see that there's a nice indent where the eye is. We've got a nice shape of the eyebrow, and when it gets to the sculpting stage, we're going to sculpt an eye over the top of that. It's important to have that indent. Now all of the facial features are done, we just want to put a strip across the back of the head. So when we applied this sheet of mesh, there's a small uh, kind of bubble that's appeared where the mesh has protruded out from the shape of the skull, of the, the big mesh. So we're just going to snip that and tie it over. Now the very last thing to do, if there are any gaps where two pieces of mesh haven't quite connected, you just cut a tiny little square and join it up. So here we had to add a little patch here and a little patch here, but that's basically it. Everything else had been covered with the previous steps. And that's it for the small mesh head class. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.